Hello, Catalan Automation Tester. Okay, this video I'm creating to explain my Catalan plugin that has a read and write Gmail messages custom keyword. Um, so now currently if you look at my um, plugin in Catalan store, it has got 200 plus users, really good number. Uh, thank you very much for everybody who is using my plugin and getting a uh, benefit out of it. Okay, so I see, um, so just to give uh, a quick overview about this plugin, uh, this plugin, it helps uh, Catalan Automation Tester to connect with uh, Gmail and read uh, mail uh, and send email and delete email from particular inbox. So all these functionalities uh, we can do using the keywords which are present with uh, this particular plugin. Yeah, um, so to begin with, I have added um, very uh, very basic uh, keywords like uh, you can count uh, how many emails are there in particular folder and you can read um, uh, you know the latest emails in particular inbox um, and delete all emails and even you, know, you can send uh, emails okay so going forward I have a big idea to uh, add a lot of functionalities into that anything we do with the Gmail so that currently I'm monitoring how users are using and how what kind of feedback I'm going to get it yeah um, so if you look at the versions, I started with um, uh, 1.00 uh, almost a, a month back. Now I have released very recently 1.2.0 um, uh, plugin version, which has got a couple of uh, fixes. Yeah, uh, I hope um, you, you you all um, update your um, plugin versions. Otherwise, install it and make sure you have the later versions um, in the catalog. Okay. Uh, along with this, already I have uh, created um, a, a project in GitHub, a public project uh, to demonstrate how to use uh, all the keywords. So I think uh, you know, the videos definitely is going to help uh, more along with this um, GitHub project. Yeah, so let's go to Catalan. Okay, so currently you're seeing that Catalan I have installed in my MacBook. 6.1.0 version so you can have uh, 605 or maybe another later version which is present available in catalan website okay um if you go to uh, plugin reader plugins uh, i have already installed my plugin read and write gmail messages custom keyword which is 120 make sure while working with this particular keyword uh, plugin keyword you have um, uh, the same version installed in, uh, in catalan okay so yeah, so let's create a project. Uh, go to new sample project or new project. Um, so make sure you're selecting web uh, project type and everything you can pretty much and you can see. Keep same and click on OK. Yeah, project has been created and uh, go to reload plugins and make sure uh, the plugins which you have added as the link with this particular project. Okay, so when you click on reload, basically it creates a link with the project. Uh, I have noticed sometimes when you create a new project, the pro uh, plugins you install in a previous project, it might not uh, load. So it's always best practice to load whenever you create new project. Okay, so after that, go to um, keyword section and make sure you cut all the keywords. Okay, so you can see that delete all emails, get email count, uh, read latest email body content, all these coming from the uh, my gmail project i mean plugin yeah okay so after this let's create a test case let's say um read email contents test click okay um go to custom keyword um Select read latest email body content, which is I'm going to show the, the particular keyword, how to use it. And when you go, it basically, um, it accepts three inputs. One is email ID and password and folder label name. Basically it's a, a label name or by default you know, inbox you can give. Um, what I do is not to disclose my um, email password. So I store um, these details in the profile and I just link to that, okay? Um, well, um, what I do, I have stored in a global variable in, the, in a particular default profile here. 
So I point to that. Um, so username and again global variable. So this I'm doing just to not to disclose my username and password details. Uh, in your case, you can try however you want it. So global variable and inbox. I'm selecting yeah email box. Okay, click okay. Okay, so let me go to um, a sample test email Gmail. So this is the okay. Go to compose. I just catalon p box is my email ID. I can I can show that definitely because it's a test uh, email ID. And subject is um, uh, read simple text uh, email test. Okay. Um, I just give you a, um, it is working. Okay, just a simple text I'm giving and send it. You can see that mail I have received here. So basically what I'm expecting, this particular latest mail in my inbox, I should be able to read when I run my test. Go to Catalan Studio and make sure everything is fine here. Yeah? So you have provided a username, password and inbox and you have saved it um, and click run it. Okay, so it's worked. So if you go to console, you can see that now, yeah, so that particular keyword uh, logged into email ID and password which you have provided and in email uh, inbox, and read uh, that particular um, email. But you can't see anything because we are not storing and printing at the console, but it is read. So just to see that how to do that, um, go to script mode. And you can just because it's a string, all all my all this this tick, this particular keyword is returning the email email content in a string format. Okay, so you can store in a string uh, email content. Let's give a variable name, and I'm going to print this. Now this time I would like to print, um, and I'm console. Okay, click OK. And now you should be able to see that particular text is read um, from email. So that means, so this particular keyword logged into your credentials and read the contents of this. Okay. So now let's try another email um, with ha which has a more more content in it. Um, to do that, I'll go to Lipsum, so which you can grab some text, sample text paragraph and just read this so I hope you know this uh, uh, lipsum, lipsum to generate sample test uh, text you can use it okay so now I copied here uh, let's go to same and test email with long test yeah send it so even you got that yeah um go to catalan and run the test so what i'm expecting now that my latest email should be read and it should be printed on console you can see that it's printing once you got that once you get the content into your um variable that is up to you how you're going to process that particular content yeah so only my keyword is doing um, this particular keyword is doing uh, it is reading the content and giving in a string format Brilliant. Okay, so let's try one more example. So go go back to um, a practical example. What happens? You'll have a text something like this. Somewhere you will have uh, some number. You know the code, passcode, or activation code. So let's say something like this. Now I want to read only this. Yeah, how to read this? So it is again you have to use your Java skill or Groovy programming skill to do that. So it's very simple. I'm going to show you that. Um, um, you know, read. Uh, number from uh, email content text perfect so let's read it so you got that latest email here and go back and read it now the first time she's going to show whether the content is read if the code is read now i want to get this particular text from that right so what you have to do is now you got this variable in runtime this variable got the email string and you know, email content in it so what you have to do, you have to split 
the um, string. So based on your portion. So in this case, I want to split this particular text at this particular point. Okay, I hope you know the how to use split. If you don't know, so read about Java split function. Okay, once you split it, so it gives an array. So it makes you know, uh, split, split this particular text, uh, whole text into two pieces and makes it array. You know, the first position is first part, second position is second part. So second position is what I'm going to read. So the first zero one, you know, second index. I'm reading it. So once you read, so what you have to do now, uh, substring. You have to use the substring function to read from zero position. I want to read from zero position to zero, including space. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So give seven and what happened? Let's see. Um, trim it. Okay. You have to trim um, you know, the, both the side of this particular number. If there is any empty space, should be trimmed. So now let me store this so i say content number i'll give so change this to ln and again print ln and c number yeah. yeah so let's give six here and run this and go to console look so now that particular number is red so up to six position so if you want full number you can give um seven i think seven was fine uh, let me re the, run this now um yeah so you got that number yeah okay so you, you can fetch a particular portion of any email content once you once you have read that using this particular keyword and stored in a string so after that your java or groovy capability however you want to manipulate it Brilliant. So in this case, um, um, yeah. So in this case, I have used number. So in a, a different use case, sometimes if you are working in a, a testing application, or some web application, you know, so they trigger um, email with the uh, email link. Okay. So you can fetch similar way and then read it. Okay. So let's say if you have um, an email something like this, you know, so we'll have a, a email template inside uh, the email content. So then you will have an image combination and you will have some links here and some text and some button. Eventually it is again a link. It is a template basically, you know, it'll have a footer. So how this particular content will be read? It read as a content, okay? So it gives, so the key keyword is um, capable enough to read any content but it cannot read the content inside the image because inside the image is a binary, it's a different. You can't read inside the image content, but anything, uh, the content contains uh, image combination of email link, it can read. So let's try that, how um, it can look. So what I can do, so I just uh, delete these emails. I make sure this particular email is the latest email in my box. Um, I'll just go and blindly and run this particular test. Uh, before that, what I do, I just comment this because these two lines are not applicable for the particular use case we are discussing now. Um, run that. And see, um, content has been read, right? So you can see the text up to here, it read, and there's a email, a link, which is behind the email, right? Uh, so this is eventually, and you click on this, it's an image, but it's coming from the, the particular email link. So it read it, and there's a link. If you mouse over it, you can see that and below, below of this email position here, you can see that uh, a link, it is pointing to link. So in this case, so all um, the contents of the email is read as it is. Fine. You can see that uh, that particular link is here and image link is here and everything is read. Okay. So after this, if you want to read any of the content inside this content, you can read using uh, Java Groovy skill, programming skill. Okay. Yeah. So let's see now other keywords how we can use it. Uh, it's pretty much simple since I've already we, we have details. Um, we can give it a try. So this is one test we understood the keyword. And let's take um, count emails test. Okay. So it's pretty much simple. Go to custom keywords and make sure you select that um, get email counts. And here again, you should follow the same step. So I have stored my details in the profile. So, 
box. Click OK. Fine, so you're done. So now straight away you can run this now. Run this and it prints, it tells you how many uh, emails are there in your inbox. Okay, number of emails in your mailbox is only one, right? Because I got only one email in my inbox. So if you have more, more than one, so that many numbers will be displayed there. Okay, so let's let's look into the one more keyword, uh, delete all emails. Yeah, so go to test case, create another test case, delete email test. Click OK. And custom keyword. And select delete all emails. So what I do, I pick, so what it does, so yeah, so that's the same details. So to make my life easy, I just go to this particular line for previous test. I straight away copy paste it here. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm done. We need to execute this particular test and execute it. So, and you can see that um, it reads and see how many emails are there in the inbox and delete, delete that particular email. Yeah. So if you go to inbox and refresh your inbox, it's gone. There's nothing in my particular inbox. So in your um, email, if you have more than one, so it takes some time and delete one by one. And you can see that literally on console. Okay. So that's about um, delete all emails. And so the other one is send email, which is really useful. If you have any particular use case where um, you have to send emails or uh, send particular steps, a successful case to a particular email, you can insert this particular keyword between your test. Okay. So but to do that, let's go to Catalan again. Um, um, send a email test. Custom keywords and select send email. So it accepts totally five arguments. One is email address, password, two email address, and subject and body. Okay. Now let's select one by one. So global variable as username and global variable as password. And so in this case, what I can make. So I can make a string. I'm going to send to same email. Sent bodies email sent all five. Okay, you can give any body. So So this is return and go to this particular test and run it. So I'm expecting now this particular test should be executed successfully and email sent successfully. If you go to your inbox, you should be able to see that send email test and email sent all fine. Okay. So that's, that's how it works uh, for this particular plugin keyword. Um, I hope you know, this is going to be more useful for you guys to understand how to work with this plugin. And as and when I add more functionalities into this um, plugin keywords, so I just update this particular video or maybe I create another video and upload in the YouTube. Okay, so keep watching this uh, space and um, uh, use my plugin. Thank you.